here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. <laughs> you guys got fat while everybody starved on the street. It's my turn. Trenches, politics, TV. Stay tuned. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Trust me, you don't want to miss nothing. Our face! I won't smoke with you niggas. I won't smoke with all you niggas. Stop playing with me. I won't smoke with the city. Who want it? I'm out here. I'm in traffic. I'm trying to buy this song. I'm trying to put something under. I'm trying to put me a man under. I'm dropping out, bar, I'm dropping out bare face with this shit. Damn, it's in my mouth. I'm dropping out bare face. I'm out here with it. Four card deep. We with it. What's up? Bump down. Put you right next to your brother, your cousin, your auntie, your dad, mammy, all you bitches. Hear me? It's up. It's 700. Walk down, guys. Y'all know how I'm coming about this big shit. Y'all know I'm stepping on shit. Y'all know I'm putting shit under. Stop playing with me. I'm on it. Watch the murder rate. And we have a crime alert in North Memphis tonight. A man shot and killed just yards away from where Memphis police are actively investigating another homicide. Yeah, that's right, Steph. Police have yet to say if these shootings are connected, but the girlfriend of the second victim tells me he was a relative of the first shooting victim. Emotions running rampant on Tully Street. As Memphis police respond to a shooting near the Wells Avenue intersection a little before noon, finding a male victim dead on the scene. While working a homicide scene with a large crowd, MPD says officers heard shots and found a man dead inside a car a few yards away. An anonymous neighbor tells us they heard around nine shots ring out. There's somebody met him on the block up there in that intersection and just took him out. Bow, 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 bow. Just constantly popping. Family has identified the second victim as 23 year old Alandis Turner. They tell us he's related to the first person killed. His girlfriend says the two share a son and had another baby on the way. He's a good person. MPD says they detained three people in Turner's killing. We do have new details for you tonight. The mother of a man killed in a shooting last month shared her pain and grief after learning that her son's accused killer was released from jail over the weekend without bond. Must have had to be a glitch in the system because I don't understand how could they let a first degree murder go. I mean, there's no explanation for that. Markeith Taylor lost his life to gun violence on December 21st, according to Memphis police. The fatal shooting happened in a vacant lot near 660 Wells Avenue in North Memphis. According to an affidavit, 26-year-old Gary Taylor, also known as Lil Gary, was one of the four men involved in the shooting. They gunned my son down, and he didn't deserve it. He did not deserve it. Records show police arrested Gary Taylor for first-degree murder Thursday. A jail record shows Saturday he was released on his own recognizance. Takora Taylor says she's lost for worse after finding out the accused killer is back on the streets. He will cook, he will clean, he take care of his baby, he love his girls, you know, and he had to beg for his life because that's probably all he was thinking about, his babies. Days after her son's murder, Taylor says someone fired shots at her home her sister's home and father's home too. Taylor says her late son had four daughters. She fears for their life and safety. Everybody I see now, I'm really terrified because I don't know who is who. I don't know if they got a picture of me. I don't know if they ride around. I'm trying to keep my family safe and I have nothing. A man released from jail for first degree murder is behind bars once again with no bond. Records show police arrested Gary Taylor for first degree murder Thursday, but jail records show Saturday he was released on his own recognizance. Today our crews were rolling when a judge called Taylor's name 
We're told he stood up and was handcuffed on the spot. The judge confirmed Taylor was released by error. Two others are charged in Marquise Taylor's murder. Police say witnesses say Daniel Bates and Dantario Owens were present at the time of the deadly shooting and stood over Taylor when he died. Daniel Bates is a known rapper. His name, Matt Critter. He was recently signed to Gucci Mane's label. By the way, two other people are charged in Marquise Taylor's murder. Police say witnesses say that Daniel Bates and Dantario Owens were both present at the time of the deadly shooting and stood over Taylor when he died. Memphis. Make sure I hit that like button and subscribe to Trenches Politics ASAP.